Hey everybody, Scott Mitchell here with InMotion Hosting and welcome to another video in our reseller tutorial series. In this video, we're going to show you how to install WHMCS into your reseller account. The first thing you want to do is log into your AMP, as I've done here. Locate your domain area and then find the install popular software icon. Give it a click. From this page, find the install WHMCS, which should be up in the upper corner here, and click install WHMCS. If it doesn't bring you into your cPanel automatically, go ahead and log in. You're redirected to Softaculous, and you're already on the WHMCS install page. From here, we're going to go down the list and just set our settings for our website. First thing is protocol. Keep HTTP if you don't have an SSL on your site. If you have an SSL, you can pick HTTPS and you can choose either non-WWW or WWW. Most common is HTTP with a non-WWW. Next is your domain. If you have more than one domain, there will be a list here. If you have a single domain name, it'll be the only one in the list, and it always defaults to the primary. Next is the directory that you want to install WHMCS. Unless it is your primary domain name, you want to add a directory. For instance, here we're going to call it billing. So to visit the WHMCS section of the site after install, it'll be at customercommunityreseller.com slash billing. Next is a data directory. This is going to be a directory that's not within your normal file set where it keeps data for the WHMCS. It's not viewable through the web, but it is accessible in your account. Just name this folder whatever you want. By default, it's WHMCS data. Next are the cron job settings. This schedules the cron to run at a specific time. The cron script for WHMCS goes out and checks for updates and stuff like that. Currently, this one is set for 8 o'clock. 22 minutes, so 8.22 every day, every month. Uh, it'll randomly set this for you. Unless you have a specific time you want things to run, go ahead and take the default. Next is your site settings. Uh, these are just generic settings for you, such as company name, the admin folder, uh, the company email, and your valid license key. Now you will need the key in order to install, so you should have already gotten this through email. I've got mine on the side here, so I'm going to go ahead and push it in. This is a one-use key, so it doesn't matter if you see this one. You can't use it after this. Next is your admin account information. Now, admin username and password, make those pretty strong. In the real world, we recommend not using admin as your admin username, but for demonstration purposes, you can do that. That's fine. And then password, you can either create a password, looking at the strength indicator down here, the higher the number, the stronger it is, or you can click over here on the create random password and it'll go ahead and create one for you. This one created a 60. I can take it from here and make it a little stronger if I want, or you can create your own. Again, never use things like password123, even though it says it's fairly strong. They're easily guessed. For demonstration purposes, you can do so. Next, you give your first name and last name to the system administrator. It gives a generic system administrator. Uh, if you want to use your real name, go ahead. If not, keep the default. Next is the admin email. Make sure you enter a valid email address here. It gives you admin at by default, but change that if you need to. And next you have your language. You have the admin language and site language. The admin language is going to be the back end, and the site language is going to be the front end. Those are both defaulted to English. Uh, change those if you need to. Once you're done, click install. and Softaculous will begin installing WHMCS onto your server. This may take a couple minutes, so please be patient. Once it's installed, a successful installation message will pop up, and now you'll be ready to log into your WHMCS for the first time. Well guys, that's it for another episode of the Reseller Tutorial Series. If you liked the video, be sure to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel below. If you have any questions, comments, or requests for future videos, leave those in the comment section below too. See you next time. Did you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? 
Something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.